What's up, men? 17 fans. My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to today's video. In today's video, I want to share with you a concept that's going to apply in Madden 18. And the reason I know this is because it's applied in every single Madden every single year. Uh, and this is what I believe um, is going to be the number one route in Madden 18. And when I say route, I mean the most powerful route that you can have and it's actually in the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook, but it can be in several playbooks. Obviously, the game hasn't come out yet. This is something that I want to just kind of put on record now uh, and give you guys to have you practice. And you can actually find it in different uh, formations, but the concept from the Gun Bunch Week, and that is none other than, you guessed it, the Z spot. And the reason I wanted to say this is because I want to put on your radar the route itself. Um, now, if you look at the route, it is a, if you look at a C route and a Z spot, so let me show you a C route. So PA post, the route on the far right, that route is a C route. So as you see, it cuts to the outside. The only thing that changes on Z spot is it cuts to the inside instead of the outside. Now, here's what is important for you to know. This is why this play works every single year. Z spot and PA posts are always going to be the two, two very powerful plays because the routes that are on the play work well off of one another. And we'll just show you this against some random plays here. But basically, we can combine this out. So PA post, you're always going to run it pretty much the same. You're always going to run it somewhat like this right here. This is pretty much how you're going to run this play. When you go to Z spot, then you're going to normally do uh, you know about the same kind of thing with the guys on the left side of the field so we're gonna run kind of a bench concept here something like this is what you would probably do and this will always work so uh, one thing you could even do this year is you could run some some delayed slants I actually really like the five yard out routes this year just because I think they work very very well because you can easily quick throw them now this is what I'm gonna suggest you do master everything but Des Bryant's route. Because Des Bryant's route is uh, a crutch route that you're gonna throw um, to basically as a last resort throw. What I want you to do, and this is what makes a good play a great play, is for you to develop all of the other routes on the play that you can possibly develop. So learn the ins and outs of, of the formation so that you can then apply it that way you, when you have a route as powerful as z-spot you can do different things with this so let me show you one other thing that i like to do so one other thing i like to do is motion z to the right and it makes it um it makes it a very nice little concept here that you can use if you if you take terrence williams smart route him maybe put cole beasley on an in route all of a sudden now you've got just a crazy a crazy gamut of options but the reason I'm saying this is you want to learn how to develop the both of them. So how could I run PA post and Z spot in conjunction? So I'll use the same motion, but now I'm going to run, um, now I'm going to run PA post. Okay. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put Ezekiel Elliott on a streak. I'm going to put Jason Witten on a drag and we're going to go. And as you can see, now it's very similar to Z spot, uh, but now it's PA post and that's the only route that changes. And that's kind of the idea. So, Anyways, the reason I wanted to share this video with you is because I believe these two plays, once again in Madden NFL 18, will be the best two plays in the conjunction, in combination. I plan on running the shotgun bunch week offense in Madden 18. Let me know what you think, what playbook, what plays, what are some of the key things you're thinking for your scheme in Madden NFL 18. Thanks, guys.